What's going on, everybody? Uh, a little truck talk this morning. Uh, hope all the Southern Miss fans and everybody are doing all right. And uh, the Sippy Sports Show, the Sippy Squad guys are all tuning in and giving me the juicy details and stuff going on. Wanted to talk about our old coach, Fedora, getting a gig over there at uh, the USFL New Orleans Breakers. Uh, they're going to be the New Orleans uh, franchise team here. Uh, it's all the games. I, I know a lot of people say, Sippy, we got to go to some breaker games, man. All the games, away, home games, uh, all these different games are going to be in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, so don't don't come down to New Orleans thinking you're going you're gonna to see the breakers this season because uh, the breakers are going to be uh, in Birmingham all year long. All teams in the USFL will be playing out of Birmingham. Uh, their home and away schedule but nevertheless coach fedora got the gig and uh a lot of people talking about the austin davis news not taking and stepping away from the auburn offensive coordinator job could he link up with coach fedora again that's up in the air uh i don't know if that's why he's not taking the job at auburn uh but i do think fedora Coming back down uh, to New Orleans area, you know, he was the coach at North Carolina. He was our coach at Southern Miss. Uh, went out to Texas for a little bit with the Longhorns and did some uh, some back office work, I guess. Now he's the head coach uh, for the New Orleans Breakers. Uh, the draft, the draft for the uh, USFL is February 22nd and 23rd. Um, I, I do believe the game uh, in March, I'm sorry, March starts like the spring training period. Uh, and then in April is when we're going to finally get to see some doggone New Orleans Breaker football led by your boy, Larry Fedora. Can't wait to see what he gets. Uh, some people saying, oh, we're going to bring back Drew Brees and he's going to be the quarterback. I don't see that happening at all. I think it's funny to say that. Uh, simple, you know, Austin Davis might be going back to play as the quarterback. That's why he's not taking OC at Auburn. You know, I've heard that too. Wouldn't it be cool? Let's be honest. Wouldn't it be cool to see Austin Davis as the quarterback and, uh, and Fedora as the coach there at the Breakers? It would be cool. But I, I just don't see any of that kind of stuff happen. Austin's been out the game for too long. I've also uh, entertained the idea with uh, Nick Mullins. Uh, he's going to give it up in the NFL and come be the quarterback for the Breakers. I don't see that happening either, folks. Just be proud that we got a uh, Coach Fedora back close to us to where we can go watch him. Uh, I, living in Ponchatoula, am going to be making the trip uh, to Birmingham for at least one or two games. Uh, definitely one game for sure. Uh, but I do want to make a couple games, kind of show Fedora that uh, the Southern Miss community still loves him, and we're rooting for the doggone breakers. So now you know I got a new favorite team. I got my Kansas City Chiefs that just got put out of the playoffs. I got my Southern Miss Golden Eagles that uh, went got three wins this year. And then, of course, we got the New Orleans breakers now. And uh, I think – I Honestly, y'all, I think Fedora's going to do good. I think he's going to have success. I saw Skip Holtz, uh, Mike Tomlin. Uh, I think Mike Tomlin. Uh, guys like that, there's going to be a whole bunch of different coaches that are, you know, entertain, entertaining the uh, USFL. Um, I think I got Sumlin mixed up with Tomlin. I always get them two mixed up, the old A&M uh, uh, Sumlin. But anyways... Y'all have a good one. Let me know where y'all are at as far as the New Orleans Breakers and the USFL. Uh, is there another team out there that you're rooting for? Uh, what do you think about Fedora taking a head coaching gig in a league that's not uh, not yet truly established? What do you think about Austin Davis or Nick Mullins becoming a freaking quarterback in New Orleans for the Breakers? Like I said, I don't see that happening at all. Don't think that's a chance it's going to happen any. But it's, it's out there, man. The rumors are out there. I've seen the coaching. Uh, like I said, Austin Davis wanting to be the OC. That's all speculation. None of these are facts. I'm just telling y'all these are the rumors that are going around. 
I'm a New Orleans Breaker fan just because Larry Fedora. And I don't like the Saints. So, go Breakers. Let's do this shit. Y'all stay tuned. Southern Miss to the top. Larry Fedora, go get you some more wins uh, as a head coach. Can't wait to see what you can do. And hopefully, and I think we all know, when there's some Southern Miss guys available, I'm pretty sure Coach is going to take them. So, uh, best of luck to the Breakers. And I can't wait to cover this new team and new franchise and new league. I know it's they're calling it the USFL 2. Uh, so, hopefully the second round uh, we, can, uh, we can hang with these boys, uh, the NFL. And nothing against the NFL here. I love the NFL. Uh, but it would be nice to see some competition amongst the ranks. Even if it's a developmental league, I, I'm still all for it. I love the spring league. I love preseason. Most people don't like any of that. So hopefully the USFL works and the, the Southern Miss guys coming out of college can get more uh, playing time from the NFL, uh, the spring league, the USFL. Uh, it, more leagues means more opportunities for our players. Southern Miss to the top, baby! To the doggone top. You already know.